We're bringing standards back to the game. We're not here to hype up the hottest rappers. We represent good music. If you're good, you're good. If you're whack, you're whack. If you want the real, this is where it's at. Welcome to Real Rap. It's the real. Hip hop. Hip hop. Drizzy Drake, come to the front, the congregation, man. Uh, me personally, I feel like I look like a Drake hater, like on every episode, and I kind of want to get out that box, but he didn't really have no choice on this album. <laughs> I wanted to cheer for you on this album, but I couldn't. I was uh, I was disappointed in this album. I was kind of everybody was saying like he did two a double double album. He gonna go in, he gonna sing on one and rap on one. And I was I was kind of I was for it, but after listening to it, I, I was against it. Um, I was disappointed. What y'all think? I felt the same way. Uh, this album's entirely too long. And he really didn't, besides the couple songs I heard on the radio and maybe one or two more, this is a waste of time. I was very disappointed in Drake, um, in his album. I thought he was going to come with 25. I thought he was going to come with it, honestly. And like you said, I have been hearing about it for a minute. So it was very anticipated, man. He, I don't know, he it fell off and... This is what we have now, or this was just a bad album, but I was disappointed. I'm hoping that since the contract is up. Yeah. This is a burn album. Yeah, let me just get this shit out the way. And then from here on out, I'm going to just go in and do. Because even like, this is, this is what killed me is like, even though I hate on Drake for singing like 90% of the time. Even, it's still good though. It's like, it's still good music. It's still good songs. Yeah. And this wasn't that. This he was still not made that. Hits. He made a couple hits, but it's twenty five songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's a couple home. It's a couple home runs. It's a it's a lot of strikeouts though. Um, but uh, real quick, I'm gonna talk real fast because we gotta go through like a million songs anyway. Um, there's a conspiracy theory on Drake after con after uh, extension passed that Drake has something to do with it. He paid them boys in Florida to do this. Drake is well aware of this uh, conspiracy theory because I don't know if it's true or not. Not, not my issue. Um, my issue is the fact that you slipped in, and I'm going to point them out, you slipped in six subliminals about this situation. If you did it, you're a piece of shit. If you claiming the body that's not yours, you even worse. Like, don't fucking rap about the shit. It, it, regardless of, of how that went down, like the fact that you know about it and you and you talking about it, like that's that's kind of disgusting. And uh, another thing, and I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, just a brief little history of Drake, because uh, I don't know if everybody follows like that. But you've been talking a lot of tough shit on this album, but. I'm gonna break it down. Um, you had in 2011 to 2012, maybe you had Marvin's room. You were talking shit about Chris Brown. He went to jail after he came out. He offered you to shoot the fade. He said, "Y'all gonna do a charity boxing match. Y'all gonna put the little head gear on all that other shit." Three three minute rounds. The the winner has to well the loser has to give a million dollars to the winner's charity uh, of choice. A million dollars. Drake, he said no. So that already was an L for me because you ducked. Um, two. It was a shot of you and TMZ. The same year you got slapped by Diddy and dislocated your shoulder. I never seen a slap dislocate somebody's shoulder. You brittle shit. Um, it, before that situation happened, you uh, you diss Tiger on that. If you're reading this too late, you're, you're too late. Tiger ran up on you outside of a strip club. I think it was in D.C. And TMZ caught him. Cameraman, show this if if, if you can find it. I'll try to help you find it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
But he was so busy trying to get into the strip club, running from Tiger and his entourage. Mind you, Tiger's like half his size. He was dropping everything. I mean, he dropped a stack of cash, dropped a watch. He was just, he was out there damn near getting butt naked to get in that strip club. Oh, I'm from a man half his size, but you talking all this shit on this album. And, and this is right before the whole Diddy situation. So that happened. And then after that, you, you talked all that shit, uh, all summer 16, all summer 16. Joe Buttons dissed you four times in summer 16. Four times you didn't say shit to him the whole summer. But now you want to start this shit with Push and Kanye? Let's just get into the track listing because he, he did a lot of Fugazi shit in this album for me. But it wasn't as bad as it sounded like it's going to be coming from You sure? Yes. Yeah. I'm just saying, dude, for, for this track history, is all this tough shit he was talking in this album, like, that's just, yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. You get a real person. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just Who saying, like, what, yeah. what color is this guy that he's getting personal with? It's biracial, biracial, biracial. man, what's going on, man? <laughs> I gave Logic an eight, bro. Come on, let it go. <laughs> but you like when Logic talked that tough shit. He, yeah. didn't, he didn't. He didn't say much. He said something. He said a lot of tough shit, man. He wasn't saying you. He, he wasn't saying this type of tough shit. And all he said was right. Did you ever heard about the extension thing? That's news to me. I didn't know. It's it's people tying him to that shit, and these lyrics don't help. Well, you're going to have to dissect that. Yeah, that man, find that out. Yeah, so I, I, miss, come I, I didn't say it. I wow. didn't say it, y'all. Wow, I'm speechless right now. <laughs> um, let's get to the track list. Bible. It was all right. Too much kill for it. It was okay. Though. I like that. I feel like Drizzy came with bars. Uh, he said, the crown is broken in pieces, but there's more in my possession. Mm. So, that little, that little, he's talking about pushing. The crown's broken, but he's he's still good over here. I like that. Okay. But he acknowledges the L, though. I feel like he acknowledges the L. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not, I'm not I'm my bad, my bad. Do you think? Do you think? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna change the energy because you you really went in on Drake. Uh, he said, "My mom, my, my Mount Rushmore is me with four different expressions." <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I thought that was yeah, good. That was um, cocky. You like that cocky? Yeah, I, I kind of like that one. That one. He said, who's giving out this much return on investment? After my run, man, how is there even a question? After the summer, man, how is there even a... And he stopped. Because how is there even a question, right? Yeah. Then he stopped it. How is there even a... It's not a question. Yeah. And he said, as far as an investment... Young money, cash money, yeah, investor yeah. than him. Who else is winning like him? Nobody. Yeah, like no, no, you're not making no money off your other artists like you're making off of me. Yeah. Quit going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Wow. I'm giving you props, Jersey. It's not me. It's not me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not done, bro. <laughs> You still not done? I'm not done, bro. Alright, do you think? Drizzy <laughs> spit bars, man. Okay, this is the first time. He said, uh, he said I had scuffles. With bad boys. Damn, he took my line. I wanted to get to that one. That yeah. wasn't pretending. So he dressed, he dressed the drizzy. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the diddy, diddy situation. The diddy slap. And he dressed that shoulder. <laughs> that was the first time, by the way. Realize someone got a dot. No. I, don't, I think this is a shot at Pusha. He said, realize someone got to die when no one uh, dead it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Push it to you, he's he going to keep going. Go. He was like, yeah, And yeah, he yeah, said yeah. he's going to. That's why he didn't reply yeah. to, to the um the last song that he did. He was talking about yeah. his baby mama and all that. And then he said, that he said, you're gambling with your life, though. That's how you're gambling to get you. With yeah, your, it's a topic. But now, the, the only you reason You're making it to Extension? Um, the, the first part uh, about, <laughs> you know what I mean, people got to die no one's willing to dead it. I take that as pusher, but you know Drake will will go back and forth on lines and make different things about different people within the same verse. Because when he says when he says uh, you, you gambling with your life for content, if you ever go back and you look at any of Extension's uh, Instagram lives when he was alive, a lot of his stuff like he got into a fight with the Migos. He was on Instagram all day going live. Y'all better give me my fucking clout tickets. So it, his whole time, everything he does. He gets on Instagram afterwards. 
This better give me my fucking clout. This better give me my fucking clout. Y'all gambling with your lives for content. <clears throat> this will get you top dead. Now what he got shot in the head. So he's a top pick. I mean it yeah it's, it, it, it does. It, it does it, it does fit. It does fit. I, I, feel I like think it's a like, reach. Yeah. But I think, but I think he, it fits. He, he plays with it though. I think it fits. Wow. But yeah, you, took, you, took, you took my other quotes though with the bad boy not pretending. I thought that was slick. I mean, you still didn't do nothing about that, but it, that was slick. I like that. And the cocky little Mount Rushmore line. I was like, eh, I like that. I mean, you got to feel like you're the best. I mean, once you get to that level of him or Kendrick and shit like that, I mean, but once you add to it. All right, now stop. It was all right. I think it would be a good commercial song, but I had too much kill for it. It was all right song, though. I like the beat. I thought it was alright, but um, hmm. I'm light skinned, but I'm still a dark nigga. Did did anybody else understand what he meant by that? Cause I didn't. I feel like he's saying he's light skinned, but he's still tough. I didn't like yeah. that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't like I don't like, I don't like the tough Drake. Yeah, I'm not doing that with that. Shit, yeah, well, because on top of that, I mean, again, we just went over his history. Like, when have you been tough? And then the wig splitter, the part like, okay, you you threw that in there, like. Uh, that's two, and then uh, I'm an unforgiving wild last dog nigga because they were supposed to have a beef. Uh, X said they had let it go, that it was good, and apparently Drake just never wanted to let that go. He, he was like, nah, I'm gonna get this motherfucker. That's the way they said it went down, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, you gotta well, hear I, I, I don't <laughs> see it no more. Yeah. Okay, I like, uh, I like how you said, uh, how go from six to 23, like LeBron. LeBron. And what he's saying, you know, six, he called Toronto the six. Mm -hmm. And he went to 23, which is Jordan. Remember, he had a, he had a shoot with Jordan. Mm -hmm. And LeBron changed number from six to 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double entendre. He said, uh, I get two million a pop, and that's standing for me. Like, I went blind, dog. You got to hand it to me. I thought that was nice, yeah. too. But I didn't like the song, though. He had a couple <laughs> bars. Yeah, it was uh, Elevate. I like the track. Of this song, um, I think his flow was kind of like typical Drake. It was kind of how he, you know, what I'm kind of used to hearing. But I like the track or whatever. Mm, he said he wanted to elevate. I wanted to take this shit down a notch. He was whining and shit. I felt like I didn't really <laughs> I like this one for him. Yeah, I didn't like this song at all. <laughs> and all you motherfuckers lied to me. You said this album was the rapping. The rapping album, the other one was the line album. We in fucking song three. This motherfucker already started singing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it at all. Too, too shit. And then he said after after he said busy, he said Bzz. like what? <laughs> Did you really just buzz in the fucking song, bro? That's an ad lib. Is a fucking buzz. Oh, Are you he's kidding a, me, man? He's, he's a busy bee. Like what the fuck was that, Drake? Oh. Drizzy. <laughs> Uh, didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> emotionless. He does that again later, but I'll point that out. I like, I like the track, man. man. I like the sample. What, with Mark Harry on the hook? Yeah. Yeah. The song was cool. Um, yeah. Uh, the second verse, uh, th this is okay to me. It still, it still wasn't like a, like a, like a, a, a stamp song, like, yes, this is it. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a, the second song that I thought was okay. The second verse, he really went in, but I felt like um, that whole uh, I didn't, I didn't keep my son from the world. I kept the world from my. I felt like that was a fucking cop out. Like push beat you to the punch, and he showed your hand before you wanted to show it. So now you gotta kind of flip it to make it. No, that was a cop out. Like you low key wanted her to get an abortion, and she said no. You told her go fuck yourself. That's not something you say to somebody. You know for a kid. She put out the text message. God damn, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, <laughs> that's not something that somebody you say when you want the kid. So I'm trying to hide my son to the. Nah, you trying to hide him from into the abortion clinic. Like, that's a fucking cop out. I don't want to hear that shit. Alright, uh, I, like <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like more. I carry on the hook. I thought like he's been real shit as far as he went in on social media, how social media is. And then he said, uh, breaking speed records on roles that these dudes pay like and that. they don't like it and it's written all over their face mm -hmm. which is a fact yeah. um God's Plan yeah, Love the Beat it was yeah. a hit I like the video more than I like the song 
I want to put. I want to nominate that video for video of the year. Yeah, I haven't even seen it. And I don't even do videos of the year. TJ yeah. brought out the video of the year. And video. <laughs> but when I first seen that video, I just felt like I go back and watch it, 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 was, it was a good gesture. He was giving out money to like just random people. Like all the money, the budget that they gave him for the video, he just gave it out. So he pretty much shot the, the video for free. Um, the hook and the post hook was catchy. Same thing, I felt the same. Great commercial song, catchy song. Um, yeah, it was a hit for the radio. I mean, he kept it, kept it sweet, kept it simple. It wasn't like, you know, too much, you know, complicated lyrics or nothing like that. It was a little something he'd do, do his little, like, whatever dance he'd be doing, you know, and shit. You know, like, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever the hell it is he'd be doing. Um, yeah, so, something like that. I mean, it, it was all right. That, that'll work for him. I'm upset. Um... It was alright. I ain't too much kill for this song either. Um, I like this one. Just off of the beat, I didn't. I didn't like the uh, potential subs again. This is uh, the third time he did it. He said, uh, "Why you keep on shooting if you know that nigga dead?" He said, "Cause that's the only type of thing that gets you some respect." I'm not really. I kind of took that reference to Meek, but I guess you could go that way. Cause after he, yeah, after cause he I mean, killed Meek on the first one. He came back again and killed him. Yeah, that was like two years ago. Yeah, but it's, he hasn't made, <laughs> he hasn't made albums since then. Mm. But fair. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. I don't. But, I, but another thing is like, when do you think he made these records? I, you know, some of this stuff, I think he went back like recently after he heard Pusha T and made some of this stuff like real recent. But I'm saying like, so you think like he, you think he came back and. After Extinction Young died, he came back and redid the songs to talk about it? Um, Cause you're I saying think, like, his top off, split his wig, shoot him in the back of his head, and all this stuff is... I mean, I felt like some of this, I don't feel like he was done with the album yet. So I think he might have had like half of it, but he added some stuff, or he probably, if he was involved, you could say this stuff beforehand because... If you're gonna release the album happen. after hand, yeah, I mean, if you already got it set up and you really part of it and you know what's gonna happen, you could just have this shit sitting on it and wait for the album afterwards, and then it just all look like a coincidence. Anyway, I feel like he knows about it, that like what people are thinking, and he just fed into the shit for whatever fucked up reason. This is getting too deep. I was like, that was okay. I like the beat, but I don't like the tough guy Drake. Like, yeah. I ain't like he's like I'm. Uh, I'm not going fifty fifty. We know, mm -hmm. and we know you're going hundred percent with it. Could mm -hmm. you buy every girl you talk to a house, a car, and a dog? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, he said a house, a car, and a dog. So I didn't. Yes. I, didn't I didn't. I didn't believe that. And then, um, and he talked about buying a tech and a vest. Go on, Aubrey. Like relax, man. Let's let's relax, man. Not Aubrey. Come on, Aubrey. Aubrey. you wasn't calling out like that. It's gotta go. What Jimmy? What's that his name, Jimmy? Come on. Jimmy that's, Wilkes, that's, yeah. that's, that's that's real life. Yeah. Uh, eight out of ten. I love this track. Huh. I like the track, and I like his flow is dope on this. You know, to cover up that song. So just see, I, I like feel this. I feel you on that. Cause I like the beat, but I thought I thought he was gonna go in. Yeah, but, he should have. You know. I feel like he didn't. I like the hook though. Uh, but that was see, true. I think yeah. he said eight out of ten to show you like this is me going in eight out of oh, on a scale of ten. I think that's what that was supposed to mean because he threw some subs and pushed a T and he 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 talked hard, but his delivery was kind of soft. Like he didn't really like you said like he didn't go in. He just he was he was talking shit, but he didn't really. Oh, oh, this is that passive aggressive Drake shit. But the hook, the hook was right on point. Cause yeah. he got the females on lock, like guaranteed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he's killed it with every Friday. Friday. Yeah. They do, yeah. And then I liked the outro. I thought, I thought it was classic. <laughs> it made sense. Uh, just wish the bars were a little bit harder. Pause. Yeah. But I wish, I wish it was a little bit harder. Yeah, it was kind of soft. Uh, mob ties. The beat was hard. I like the beat. Um. I was saying, I think this would be a good radio hit if you put on the radio. I thought, you know, this is one of the songs I thought was okay. It was cool. Mm -hmm. See, again, to me, this one kind of sounds like Future, so... Uh, you know was, how you feel it, about Future? It was alright. It was alright. I gave him, I gave him okay. But again, number four, Louis Bags Exchange for Body Bags. 
he got robbed and shot over his Louis bag. They stole his Louis bag out of the car. Louis bag exchanged for body bags. Like, come on with these fucking coincidences. Like, this shit's starting to add up. Like, it didn't look good. But, uh, I'll leave it. And, and the you song is mob ties. Yeah, yeah. I mean, plus the song is mob ties. It's saying mob, it, like, you know, uh, I, I got to pay ties and shit like that. Or I got to pay my dues or some shit. He said, like, it. You're talking a lot of little low key shit, yeah, but the song was all right past that. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I thought the first verse was the hook, and then come to find out the first part of the first verse was the pre hook. <laughs> but I like the pre yeah. and post hook. Uh, I like the second verse. He said, uh, Led the league in scoring, man, but look at my assist. And we had was talking previously of how many people we put on yeah. just by getting on their song. Yeah. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. <laughs> I thought that was tight. And then he said, uh, I just uh, gave him two for 40 million, like Chappelle. Mm. So he gave two him seasons, yeah. or like two, two, two albums. Two albums, yeah. For 40 million. And when uh, Dave Chappelle got the Netflix deal. Two, two stand ups, double on time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was tight. Uh, can't Take a Joke. Nah, that shit was way really too monotone. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I didn't like the intro. Uh, and the intro, the intro uh, interlude uh, weren't really saying nothing in the verses. Yeah. I liked the flow though, and I liked the second half of the hook. Uh, Sandra Rose, Sandra's Rose, his mouth. Yeah. I liked oh, that's it. That's who it was. Yeah. I, I, I was it. trying to figure it out. I thought he was talking about Big Mom. No, I thought he was talking about. Um, I thought it was going. When I first seen the name the Sandra Blake, I thought he was talking about her. Yeah, okay. trying to put a song together. I didn't know who he was talking about. I liked it. Um, yeah, I liked it too. The intro, like the it. hook, the first verse, and I feel I'm like, why can't you rap like this yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. dog? Like all the time. Yeah. And it's like uh, and I thought it was too many lines in the verse for me to even quote. Yeah, he had some nice words. Um, nice yeah. But then it, the thing that that got me was. I said that and I felt that after the first verse and then the first line is like dude well he said he didn't say dude he said it anyway he said dudes want a classic that's just ten of these. Mm -hmm. It's ten of these, like ten of these songs right here. Yeah. And you will finally get that classic. So if you know that, like why why, why would yeah, you why, why are you just taking songs off? It just makes sense. But I like uh I'm he said I'm not done. My bad. Again, okay, alright. There you go. <laughs> he said I'm standing at the top. Or what these dudes are climbing to reach. Yeah. He said backstab so many times, I started walking backwards. Yeah. yeah. I, I like I that. that he said, uh, like Charlemagne, I see the light and see the darkest patches. You know, yeah. Charlemagne got the light and dark patches. Well, he he, did, he did, bleached his skin and then he had to try to even that shit back out. Well, I, I, allegedly. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> you know. You got I Google those that. pictures. That shit. He said, he said he went to a dermatologist. But. Yeah. Um, you know a lot of negative stuff, man. <laughs> Hey, I mean, you gotta call people on their bullshit, especially when they make a career out of calling other people on their shit, right? Uh, but I like the supermodel line. He said, I gotta, uh... I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Uh, <laughs> I was just telling them, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I ain't, I ain't in the catch up there. But yeah, he said, uh, I got a, a house full of supermodels like Muhammad Hadid. Because yeah. mm -hmm. he got Bella Hadid and... Uh, his, his two of his kids and he's, yeah. he's married to a Okay, I didn't see. I didn't even know their mom was a supermodel. And what? the one he's with now, so not too. Oh, shit, okay. Um, and then the Charlemagne diss, uh, I put that down. But, uh, and, I, and I like the song, but number five, Louisville Hush Money for My Young Gunners. Hey, look, go on, take that time. Don't say shit. I got you when you get out. I don't know, but it's a reference also to Rick Paterno, Louisville, paying off the players, so. I mean, it's thinly veiled. It, it could mean a lot of things, but we're gonna leave that alone. Talk up. Who's that? Uh, yeah. Like yeah. I think I think Jay carried it. I think Jay did a lot better than him. I'm disappointed in both of them, man. Really? Yeah. Really? Yep. Wow. Well, I liked it when I heard the the Coleman guy on the hook. I didn't know where he was going with it. And uh, but Drake's verse is kind of like what he did say. Uh, you might think I'm I'm taking some lumps. I don't know if he's talking about sums. Yeah. Like the lump yeah. sums. You getting money. 
get into the bag. I like that. Yeah. My mentions are jokes, but they never give me the facts. This isn't that they can't ignore the stats. Like everybody hating on him, but he's still putting up numbers. He's still a man. Some people call him a murder like OJ. I don't know if the folks <laughs> fit or not. <laughs> After this show, we might they might do an investigation. I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> this and then this, this song could have been dope, but I thought Drizzy dropped the ball on it. Yeah, I feel like if you do a song with Jay, the, the bar's got to be up to par, and I feel like it wasn't. Um, and once the song, <laughs> once the song started out with a dope man reference. <laughs> Like what? What's going on here? Yeah. Drake should not. But he could have flipped that. Yeah. And made it about him instead of being about dope. Yeah. Cause Jay really went in, yeah, it, it went it, into it, that it, lane. Drake obviously didn't. Right. But um. Not yeah. done, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was adding to what you said, man. Fuck you and these Modellos, man. <laughs> this cat cuts me off every time. We let you talk for three hours. Yeah, and so I <laughs> And I'm just talking about this album, dog. Can I get my round off first? I'll let you. I we always let you go last so you can take up most of the time. Can I, can I just get mine <laughs> off? I'm almost done. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, and then Hove. I thought Hove yeah. snapped. You said you did it? I just think it, it was light, like you say. I, I, I thought like, he snapped. And I, I want to give it burst of the year. I want to uh, give it burst of the year. And like I said, this is another one that put him in, in the GOAT status. This verse. He passed Big and Pop because it's longevity. This guy's about to be 50 and he's, he's still in his bag, man. It's unheard mm. of. It's unheard of, man. Sorry, Cash. I didn't have anything else to say. That's all I was telling you. Like, I, you, you had the floor. I let you have it. I, all, I, was, I was backing you up on the J thing. Like, yeah, I thought he went in. And so it's like, yeah, you kind of like, me. You kind of interrupt me. What? Bro. I added into it. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh shit. You wanna say the title? Or you gonna leave <laughs> Is there more? I like I like the verse. I think I think Drake went in on this one. I like his wordplay in the beginning of the first verse. Like every word, every last word he flipped it into another stance. So I like that way. He flowed I think he, he flowed and delivered on the track well. I liked it. Like my my home shout out to my homeboy Tawan. He always say the Drake. I don't agree with it, but he always says Drake is this era is Jay Z. And when Drake raps like this, I agree with him. But he only raps like this for ten percent of the time. So I don't know if you can really put him in the same category. Say he's even close. I would give him more than ten percent. But he's like Ja Rule. Okay. Because he sings more than, than he raps. He is not John Rue, though, dog. I'm not even a huge fan of him, but don't, don't do that shit. John Rue was hot, though. John he was, hot. but Drake been hot for a minute. Yeah, John Rue has a classic album. I don't know he if do. Drake does. He do. Uh, I like what he said. Uh, only line I do is lying out in the tropics. I only tell lies to a high, to a high, like, motherfucker. <laughs> He's scared you about to jump in. I didn't even miss you go again. I'm so nervous right now. I don't know. Bruh, you got like six corporals of song and I'm letting you do them all. Like double dutch. <laughs> he said, no, this, this is a contradiction. This is a logic. A logic is on right here. He said, only line I do is lying out in the tropics. Then he says, I only tell lies to who I got to protect. So are you lying or not? <laughs> What's funny? Oh, man. But, uh, um, but he said, but that'll never happen the way I'm watching my step. I, I don't know. I don't know. It was just, a, it was, a, that's a logic. So he's bragging about lying, I guess. That's a logicism. We're going to have logicism from here on out <laughs> for all the liars out there. Um, I think it's a okay. Uh, I thought it was kind of white, but I did like one song. Um, uh, well, one line out of the song. He was talking about, uh, Walt Disney. He was like, uh, there's too many Walt Disney characters out here. Uh, like Mouse and Goof or some yeah, shit like that. I did like that one. Um, Kanye always calls himself Walt Disney. Like a genius like Walt Disney. And then, um, I, I read somewhere that, like, Joe Button was supposed to be, uh, the Mouse reference. But I don't, I don't know how that connects. But yeah, I thought that was still kind of, because I mean, he did beef with Joe Button, so. Yeah. 
I thought that was kind of cool. That's the end of uh, volume one. And I, I scored my, I don't know how you guys scored that, but I scored my the same way I did um, Sway Lee and yeah. the Shrimmers. The Shrimmers boys. <laughs> so I, I, gave, I gave this one a six. Volume one a six. I thought it was all right. A lot of shit I didn't like on it. Um, and let's, let's get into the, the worst part of, of the album. The whole second volume. <laughs> um, 